right. So, this uh, 22 inch Blackstone griddle from uh, Walmart. This is the Walmart exclusive. Um, has seen some better days. I used it once at a football game on my last vlog and um, then put it away since then. Started cooking on that one. Um, and haven't used it and now this is the result. So I need to restore it. So how I'm gonna do that is I've got my scraper over here and canola oil and a lot of paper towels, some high heat, which I have right now on high heat. And I'm gonna show you guys how to turn this bad boy back to its original intended way. All right, so here's the progress after about three layers of oil. This is the third one I'm doing now. I'm letting it burn off. As you can see there, I mean, it's pretty, it's on an uneven surface. So some of the oil has come down to the bottom here, but I'm gonna let this layer burn off and then I'll work more on the corners over here. And one of the toughest parts I'm trying to get is back here. There's still a little bit of signs of rust. So I'll try to put some more oil there to burn that off, but I really wanted to focus on the cooking layer first. So you see we're getting it nice and black now, and that's how it should look, and you don't want it to look all rusty. Again, everybody has their own methods, but this is what works for me. All right, so we've got the rust scraped off the side. We've got this nice, beautiful, black, shiny top now that we can uh, begin to cook on. And we do have these little areas down here that the heat can't get to, but it's a really, really windy day today, so if you look, even though it's on full high, it's uh, really, really low of the flame, but it's been really, really windy today. It's the fall, the pool's closed. I'm really just trying to get this thing fixed so I can start using it for tailgating in my football games. Um, so I don't have to keep using that guy. This is much easier, obviously, to, to pick up and take with me. Uh, so, like I said, this is how it works for me. I know everybody has different methods, but just simply did about four oils of canola oil. But before that, I scraped. As you saw, I uh, then splashed with some water, scraped again, left it on high heat, then started dropping my layers of oil, scraped, and then oil, let it burn off about three or four times, and you're done. Um, again, this is just for a really mild rust, as you saw in the beginning. If it's like been embedded and been like that for months, and you just like threw it in your backyard and left it there, and got caught in some rainstorms, obviously it's gonna take more work. I know sometimes you gotta use like a sander and sand it down. But in this instance, we didn't really have to do that. So again, mild rust, able to bring it back to life. Everything's all good. Super excited to start cooking now. Um, I'm also gonna put on the top. If you guys saw in my last vlog, um, the top uh, actually was broken when this arrived. So Blackstone went ahead and sent me a replacement. I know this is months later, um, but like I said, I've been really, really busy. So we're gonna go ahead and install that once this guy cools off. All right, so now that we've dealt with the rust on there and it's all set, uh, I do have some goodies from our friends at Black Selling. We've got the 22 inch griddle hood as well as this cover. So it's a table tabletop griddle cover. So we're gonna set this all up and then winterize this thing because uh, as much as I'd love to cook, it is really cold right now. And uh, I gotta get everything set up and boxed. All right, here's the uh, tabletop griddle cover. Check that. Here's the cover we're gonna put on. It's kind of like the one that I have on there, except just a smaller version. This is sky. This is for the 22 inch tub. There we go. So quality is pretty good. Nice and stitched. Black stone. 
get some frailing there, but not anything too bad. All right, let's get that up there. All right, so the new top came with the hinges already pre-installed, so I thought we might have to use the other hinges, but we won't. So we actually have to um, remove the old hinges. So these are the old ones that's held together by these two screws. We'll unscrew them, we'll put the new hinges on, and then we will install the handle as well. So we'll probably keep that handle as an extra one, but let's do it. Now once we do that, we should be complete with our restoration and uh, new hood installation. So there's one thing I forgot to point out. I had to take the flat top, the griddle off because these two nuts were located here with the screws holding them in place so there's no threads there. So I kept trying to put the cover on and drill this in, see, but I didn't read the direction. So um, just keep in mind that there are some pre-existing nuts and they fell inside of here. So I have to now reinstall it with these um, nuts so that it holds the screws in place. Okay, so the hood cover is finally installed. I was able to get the nuts on the other side of the screw and I will leave it up to you guys to find out what the best way is to do that. Definitely if you have a second set of hands would help because someone can hold the nut on this side while someone screws in the screw over there. Kind of had to do one of these and hold the, the hood stand up. So definitely don't recommend doing that but I got it done nonetheless. So let's pack it all in and we should be ready to rock and roll. Let's see. We are finally done guys. So here's your finish flat top all seasoned and nice restored from the rust get some white specks there not really to worry about and uh here's the new top installed so it closes flawlessly unit looks nice you got the uh hinge proper hinge installed thank you very much to blackstone for sending the replacement and we'll keep probably keep the old one uh, as a spare even though it's kind of bent on the bottom there but i could definitely use another handle but here it is. So overall, if you can get yourself a second set of hands, you definitely want to do that. Like I said, to install the hard top, is, it's a lot of work. Um, but we finally got it working. It looks great. I really, really am, can't wait to start cooking on it again, even though it's fall. The weather's getting chillier, but we got football season coming on. We're still going to be using a 36 from time to time, right behind me. Uh, but, you know, for now, we're rocking a 22. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.